Hey guys, in this position, the strong master Alexander Kotov played a destructive move and he won the game in just a few moves. We'll analyze it very soon, but first let's see how they got into this amazing position. Keep watching. So Kotov was playing white and Kalmanok was playing as black. Kotov plays d4 and then black is going to play a6 here. This was a queen's pawn, but now we are going to transpose to king's pawn after e4. And now we are playing French. Black plays here d5 and he's going to play the line knight c3. Black plays knight f6. Now we are in classical variation and the game continues with bishop g5. d takes e4, knight takes e4 and they are going to play this line bishop e7, bishop takes f6 and here bishop takes is a good option but in this game uh, black is going to play g takes f6 which is also very playable. In this position black is destroying a little the pawn structure on the king side but also is bringing pawns uh, towards the center and they could be playing a 5 later and the king is more or less protected by many pawns they are getting a half open file over g so this capture looks a little strange but it's actually interesting and it's creating some uh, dynamic middle game positions well in the game knight f3 and black is going to play here knight d7 but we need to say that the move f5 is actually a little better getting some space over there also uh, improving the situation of the bishop so knight d7 not the best in this position bishop c4 and then black plays c6 here the queen comes to d2 very normal preparing to castle queen side also activating the queen over this diagonal and black is playing here b6 the next move queen h6 is a little aggressive but uh, one of the ideas is that at some point cutoff could be playing the move queen g7 attacking rook also attacking some pawns over there the game continues bishop f8 and the queen comes back now to f4 interesting a square here on d6 to target and try to create or put some pressure over there. Bishop b7 and white castles queen side here. Black continues with h5 getting some space over the king side but also this is a tricky move observe king and queen are both on the same diagonal so black could be threatening now bishop h6 getting some material that's why cutoff is going to play here king b1 and Kalmanok is going to play now bishop e7 the queen comes back to g3 improving the queen again some ideas with a uh, queen g7 at some point and black is going to play here knight f8 which is a mistake uh, probably in this position a better move was king f8 moving the king out of the half open e file and also controlling g7 to avoid any move with the queen over there the problem with a knight f8 is that in this position cutoff is going to play the move rook hg1 improving the rook but also putting the rook on the same line as the king that's not good for black so after this move uh, black is going to play f5 which is probably the final mistake in this game this is the position we had at the beginning of the video in this position cutoff is going to play a really special move he's playing here d5 the question is what is he doing here i mean this pawn can be captured by other two pawns but not only that black just played recently a5 and they are threatening the knight on e4 so what's going on here how do you play or understand a move like d5 well um, we'll analyze it but the move d5 is actually very strong one of the things we need to remember is what we said some seconds ago about the king still in the middle of the board and that's why that's one of the reasons why uh, he's going to play this the idea is to open lines and take advantage of the king in a very bad position also taking advantage of the activity of all white pieces well uh, first of all if black takes the knight here on e4 white can just capture on e6 and now th this is a discovered attack and we are taking the queen but also we are giving checkmate here on f7 so even if the queen goes say to c8 we capture and this is checkmate the other line here is a uh, e takes d5 and well this is actually an interesting line there is checkmate in one we can just play knight f6 check also controlling here that's mate and finally we need to mention the option where a uh, c takes d5 is what he's going to play in the game we will see it now but also we want to analyze if what happens if he just doesn't take anything and he plays something like queen here then we can just trade here open lines and play knight d6 after the trade on d6 we have a lot of pressure here all white pieces are playing and the pressure is just too much black pieces are in very bad position so this is just winning the game the king is still in the middle so after d5 in the game black is going to play c takes d5 
and now open line over here so he's going to take advantage of that bishop b5 black has to block over d7 and now there is a pin so we can put a lot of pressure on that piece the next move for white knight e5 now getting a piece here and this is just winning the game in this position uh, black is going to play queen c7 but bishop c8 defending the knight is not solving the problems for black since white can play here knight c6 and the queen is trapped so uh, knight e5 black plays here queen c7 and well of course this is a, a piece an extra piece here bishop takes d7 black is already lost but then continues with king d8 and now the move we were saying sometimes in some positions queen g7 infiltrating the queen creating threats the rook comes to f8 and the knight goes to g5 improving the knight threatening things over here also the knight was uh, threatened on e4 and black plays here queen b8 but after bishop takes e6 kalman is going to resign in this position let's see what happens if black takes well we can just capture and then we can just capture here on f8 if the bishop takes well queen d7 is just going to be checkmate two very special moments in this game one of them is when cutoff plays d5 ignoring the threat on the knight also sacrificing the pawn in front of our two black pawns and the idea is to take advantage of the king in the center and the other moment is uh, later when he's going to play bishop takes e6 in the end of the game it's already winning in some different ways but it's a nice move to finish the game which was your favorite move in this game? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, like and subscribe. See you on the next.